Well, let's shift gears from the corridors of justice where health services in Embu, Narok and Baringo are in jeopardy after health workers began downing their tools, demanding improved working conditions and better remuneration. In Embu, patients are well left stranded as public health facilities remain shut, while in Baringo, patients have been given a 24-hour notice to leave the hospitals as medics plan to withdraw their services. This is the situation in Embu. The healthcare workers have made good their threat of downing their tools after the county government failed to address their grievances, which include delayed salaries for three months. The over 2,400 workers, including nurses, doctors, dentists, morticians, among others, are also blaming the county government over non remittance of statutory deductions amounting to over 400 million shillings for the past four months. The healthcare workers said that even after several meetings with the county health officials, nothing has been done to address their grievances. Led by their union leaders, the healthcare workers said they are not relenting and will not agree to a return to work formula until their grievances are addressed and implemented. And we are not going to look back. Are we together? Sisi, return to work formula, atutaki. Atutaki makaratasi, sisi atukuri makaratasi. Tuko pamoja? Pesa inge kwa account. Want to, want to warn the executive and uh, the governor of Embu County is that we are going to paralyze all healthcare operations in Embu County until all demands as per the strike notice are met by the executive. In the meantime, medical workers in Narok are threatening to down their tools, lamenting over deplorable working conditions. The medics are accusing the county government of failing to honor a 2017 CBA. Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacist and Dentist Union South Rift Branch Secretary Dr. David Bimji claims failure by the county to resolve to pay the agreement as per the CBA has financially exposed its members. The job progression that is should be attained and also as, as, as it is seen there's a CBA that was signed by the Narrow County Government. So basically the things that the doctors and the health workers are, are going on strike for uh, there are basic rights that have been denied by the county over the years and several uh, forums that have been brought forth has failed to implement this. In Baringo County, healthcare workers have given a 24 hours notice to patients in all public health facilities to seek medical services elsewhere as their strike kicks off. <laughs> Speaking after holding a peaceful demonstration in Cabernet, the healthcare officials said there will be a total shutdown of services starting Thursday following a disagreement between the Nurses Union and Baringo County Government. Kenya Union of Clinical Officers Secretary Koriria Tor said their 14 days strike notice lapsed on Monday with no agreement forcing them to paralyze services at the hospitals. And now we have called our health workers to stay at home. They are officially at home and on strike. And this can continue until the county government yes. until the county government yes. gives a redesignation, promotion yes. and confirmation yes. to all health workers in Baringo County. Yes. It is not business as usual. Yes. We are now we are now behaving abnormally. Yes. The situation is never normal. Yes. And we are not relenting and we are not going to accept the situation the way it is. Beatrice Gatonyang Etich, Channel 1 News.